So let's get right into it. I am taking my Sephora waterproof liquid liner. This is the one in black. I like to start three-fourths the way and then wing it out and then apply to the inner tear duct area closest to my lash line leaving no gaps. Notice how I'm laying the brush on the side and I'm not directly pointing the tip because you want as much pigmentation as you can get. And right here I'm flipping my brush going outside in just to get the clean cut flick I like, the wing. I personally have a little bit smaller eyes so I do need to make my wing liner a little bit more dramatic. Um, it is a little bit thicker than most people apply it but you don't have to make it as thick. You can make it thin like how it was in the beginning. It's just that when my eyes are open you can't really see it so I have to be a little bit thicker so you can see a little bit of it. It just looks really thick when my eyes are looking down. But when my eyes are open, you can't really tell that's thick. Make sure you fill up any gaps. Try to get a smooth line. Once again, lay the brush on the side. As you get to the end where you do your wing, you can use the tip of it to get more of a precise, sharp line. When I apply the beginning of the liner, I use the tip. And at the end of the liner, I use the tip as well. And in the mid shaft of my eyeliner, I usually use the side of the brush, so then I have more pigmentation that way, and less dipping needed. I usually prefer the um, Stila liquid liner, the one where it's a pen tip, where I just shake it and it comes out, but um, I just want to really use up this Sephora liquid liner. It is a really good liquid liner if you are starting off with makeup and it's very affordable. So I'm taking my dual lash glue in dark tone and I have to lay them right in the middle in the center and then I usually from the outside and I pop in the inside corner because once you have a good leverage in the center you could fix the corners all you want. I personally like my glue still a little bit kind of moist, it's kind of um, semi-wet, just so I can maneuver in case it doesn't fit well. Make sure you do trim your lashes from the outside flare if it doesn't fit your eye. Notice how my lashes aren't completely like all the way in the inner tear duct where it's going to poke me when I'm blinking because you don't want that. If your lashes are irritating your eyes, like if you're blinking and your lashes are hurting you, that's not how it's supposed to be. That means it, you put it on incorrectly. So do make sure you trim it to your liking and your fitting of your eye because everyone's eye is different shape. I personally like to use tweezers. You don't have to if you're used to your fingers or you have nails and you just better with fingers, totally fine too. Tweezers, I can just get more precise. And voila! The difference of lashes. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll talk to you guys later. And also use a Makeup Forever palette if you want to see this look. Be on the lookout. Bye!